Today on Serve and Learn. English is a highly sought after skill in the Dominican Republic. In today's episode, we'll look at why this is so and different things that are being done to help those learn English. This and more coming up next on Serve and Learn. Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Serve and Learn. I'm Brian Link, and today's segment is all about learning English. If you grew up in the United States or Canada, you probably grew up speaking English. And by now, it's probably the language you speak every day. In the Dominican Republic, however, people speak Spanish. Kids here grow up speaking Spanish, and if they want to learn English, they have to take English classes. Kind of like you would have to do if you wanted to learn Spanish, French, or any other language. Lots of people in the Dominican Republic want to learn English, and you might be wondering why. So let's go find out. Hi everyone, I'm here at a Dominican restaurant called Cocomar. The Dominican Republic has lots of restaurants, and although Dominicans eat at these restaurants, there are also many of Americans who eat at these restaurants when they come here on vacation. If a restaurant owner is needing to hire a new waiter or waitress, he probably is looking for someone who can speak both English and Spanish. That way, the new waiter or waitress can easily communicate with both Dominican and American customers. Besides restaurants like Cocomar, there are also a lot of other places, such as hotels, shops, and other businesses where Americans go while on vacation, and workers need to speak both English and Spanish. Many Dominicans know that if they want a good job in these types of places, they need to learn English in order to be hired. Back to you, Brian. Getting a good job is one of the biggest reasons why someone in the Dominican Republic would want to learn English. Along with working at restaurants, hotels, and shops like Amy mentioned, some other jobs where it is important for Dominicans to know English includes taxi drivers, airport workers, English teachers, and other jobs where Dominicans might be working with people who only speak English. Now that we know why people want to learn English in this country, the next question you might be wondering is how do people learn English? In the town of Monte Cristi, Orphanage Outreach is working on a number of projects to help with this. Orphanage Outreach is doing a lot of work to make sure that kids in the town of Monte Cristi have the opportunity to learn English. Every spring, American and Canadian volunteers come down to Monte Cristi and volunteer their time by teaching English lessons out in the public schools. Volunteers use colorful pictures and games to teach basic English words like colors, numbers, foods, and animal words to kids of all ages. In addition, in 2006, Orphanage Outreach started an afternoon English school. For the first year of this school, a small building was rented and about 60 local 5th graders signed up for English classes. After one year of teaching classes in this building, Orphanage Outreach purchased a much bigger building in town so that their English school could grow and even more kids can come to the free English classes. At the New English Institute, Orphanage Outreach will offer English classes to students in Monte Cristi who are in 5th through 8th grade. American and Dominican English teachers work together at this English Institute using a textbook set called Side by Side. The goal is to have 5th graders begin classes at our school and finish 4 years of English with us when they are in 8th grade. From there, they will have the opportunity to continue studying English with a high school aged program that already exists in Monte Cristi. Orphanage Outreach ultimately hopes that all graduating seniors will be able to speak English. We've already mentioned a lot about the English Institute, which is the English school for 5th through 8th graders run by Orphanage Outreach. So now, let's join a couple teachers who are there right now ready to give us a tour. Hello, and welcome to our Boys and Girls English Institute. My name is Perla. And my name is Joella. Today we're going to take you on a tour through the school where we teach English every afternoon. Let's go! This is where our students enjoy each day for their English classes. This building used to be a four-story hotel and restaurant. And now, two of the floors are used to our school. The second floor is where we have our classrooms, a video room and a computer lab. Follow us and we'll show you. English 
one classes. English one is the first year of English, and most of the students don't know any English at the beginning of the year in English one. In this class, the kids learn lots of basic words and phrases in English, such as, how are you, what's your name, where are you from. They also learn their numbers in English, alphabet in English, colors, animals, places, and lots of other common words that are important when learning a new language. Just outside of this classroom, there is a bathroom that students can use, and a closet where we keep school supplies. Let's go down the hallway, and I'll show you more. English 2 classes. It looks a lot like the other room, but in here we teach kids who have already studied English for one year and are now in their second year, learning even more helpful words and phrases. This room also has a bathroom that students can use and lots of colorful posters on the wall just like the other classroom. If you follow me to the third room, you'll be able to see our video room. Every day after one hour of English class, our students come in here to watch a short cartoon in English. They don't understand all of the words that they hear in the cartoon, but it still helps them to hear English and try to figure out what is happening in the cartoon while watching the video and seeing the cartoon characters. The last area on this floor is the computer lab. We have three laptop computers and a cabinet with books in English. Sometimes when we have extra time, the students get to come in here and use the books and computers to practice English in a different kind of way. If you look closely, you'll see that we have labels on almost everything in our school. We label everything such as the window, door, chair, poster, and more, so that our students can easily see how to say all of these things in English. Okay. There is one more part to our school, and that is the first floor of the building. Each day, after an hour of class and half an hour video, our students finish their day with us by doing an activity like songs, game, or art out on the first floor. Let's go and I'll show you what I mean. The top floor used to be a restaurant and so it's a big open space. It's the perfect spot for our English students to sing songs, play cards, and play games where we need to move around a lot. We try to do all the activities up here in English. It's a good way for our students to practice their English and have lots of fun at the same time. So, that's our English Institute. Thanks for coming on the tour with us. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Joel and Perla. Now that you know a little bit more about what it's like at Orphanage Outreach's English Institute, to get an even closer look at what goes on at the Institute when the students are there, we'll go to Megan, who is there with a special report. Hi everyone, I'm here at the English Institute where one of the English classes is about to begin. Each day the students start their class with a class chant. Each class has a name, and in their chant they use their name. For example, the class that we're about to enter is called the Brave Bears. Listen for the word Brave Bears in their chant. Let's check it out. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, teacher. Are you ready for your chant, class? Yes! Give me a B. B. Give me an E. E. Give me an A. A. Give me an R. R. Give me an S. S. Who are you? Bracebird. What's your name, class? Thanks, Megan. Now it's time for Serve and Learn Spanish Word of the Week. This week's word, English. The word for English in Spanish is Inglés. Let's do this. Inglés. Inglés. Was that too fast? Let's see it again. This has been another Serve and Learn Spanish Word of the Week. We 
are here with Emilio, and he is a student at the English Institute. Emilio, how old are you? I am not nine years old. And what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. And how long have you been studying English at this school? I have two years. Two years. Um, what do you like about studying English? I learn much, much words in English. Okay, you learn new words here. Um, what is difficult about learning English? The plurals. The plurals. The plural words. Um, why do you want to learn English? My mom is very proud of me. Ah, your mom will be proud of you. Does your mom speak English? Does your dad speak English? Yes. Um, what is something fun you have done in English class? Learn things of Halloween, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. Okay, learning about the holidays. What is your favorite holiday? Carnival. Carnival. Is that a Dominican holiday? Okay. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? Play video games. Okay, play video games. Okay, that's all. So that wraps up our segment on learning English. We'll leave you with several pictures of teachers and students at the English Institute. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.